How about some drinks? Ooh. What are you drinking? What's your poison? You down with scotch? I ain't no poison. Scotch and yes. No, no, no. No poison. Scotch and yes? No. Scotch and yes! You know hey again, Whiskey Whippers and Spirit Sippers. One went back again, and we tracked down another one. We went out and got a classic. The Macallan 12 Sherry Cask. You said single malt scotch. I haven't had single malt since 69. Blended whiskey is crap. I don't care what color the label is. This is a total classic. This is a uh, one that's gotten a lot of people into whiskey. Um, their promotional team's amazing. They've pumped it out. Um, everybody kind of has heard of McAllen, even if you don't know much about whiskey or scotch. I mean, McAllen's kind of like, I don't know, great place to start. I just wanted to get it. It's a sherry bomb, I've heard, and I seem to like sherry in the whiskeys or sherry flavored. I don't know, it's a classic, figured it's about time, and uh, I got the classic cut in there. It's uh, actually a little higher APV for a Macallan, which is really rare, so I'm excited to taste that. But I was like, you know what, before I even do that, I've got to do the classic first. So I ran out, bought a bottle of this, and uh, yeah, figured we'd review this one first. Got this one, I think it was like 51 or $52. Of course, here in Washington, our tax is ridiculous, so it's like another 20 25 on top of that. But yeah, it was, uh, I think it was, what, 71, 72 bucks out the door. So yeah, literally an extra 20 bucks on a bottle. Oh, but speaking of bottles, what a beautiful bottle it is. I mean, that is just sleek and nice. Macallan 12 Sherry Cask. It's funny, I always see the double oak and the triple oak, and uh, the one I've actually tasted in the bar that I really liked was the triple cask, or the triple distilled 15. That, uh, that went down really smooth. I'm probably be my next McAllen. But uh, yeah, this is the, just the classic, the regular 12. I just figured, you know what, let's go out and get it before we do any of the other McAllens. And uh, I did do the two little ones, but I hear like in little bottles it is just a little bit different. So let's uh, grab the big bottle and see what we can do. With McAllen, it's, uh, they don't ever add any color. There's no uh, chill filtration. Well, that came right off. It's the real deal. I heard there's kind of a sulfur taste on this, too. A lot of people get sulfur on it. <laughs> I'm excited to taste this one. Let's check it out. Oh, Macallan 12. Just a super popular whiskey. I mean, it's just, uh, what, like I said, it's what everybody knows. They've done their job well with marketing. And, I mean, everybody just kind of puts Macallan up there at the top of the list. Is that really the case? Does the taste hold up to the reputation? That's what we're going to find out. You already know it's a 12-year-old, so we're going to let it chill in the glass for about 12 minutes. And uh, then we'll get back here and get to tasting and let you know all about it. We'll see you soon. And we're back. Uh, I cannot tell you how much I'm looking forward to this. I've been playing in a poker tournament for the last five hours, and I was the bubble boy. That is no good. Oh, that smells good. That smells good. For those of you that don't know, the bubble boy is the last person in the tournament to not get paid. So I was the last one to not make any money. That is just a terrible position to be in. And all the way home, I was really looking forward to opening this bottle. Not going to lie. Oh, on the nose, I guess that's that sulfur smell that everybody's talking about. Um, well, not everybody, but I've heard a few people talk about that sulfur smell on the McAllen. Kind of guessing what that is. It almost smells like some dark fruits, like maybe raisins. Oh, man, maybe a little... It's not quite honey. It's not quite ginger. It's kind of like a little mix in between, like a sour honey almost. Probably the smell from the barrel coming out of that. Yeah, just super smooth, rosy. Uh, this is aged for 12 years straight in all Rosso casks. So, and uh, McAllen is super picky about the casks they use. Like their master distiller is like they have a master wood cooper, and uh, he stays every barrel is like crafted under his watchful eye, basically. And yeah, they go all out at McAllen. They do not cut any corners, and that's why McAllen's you know a little bit more expensive. I mean, they do take care to make sure that they put a pretty good whiskey in their bottles. So. Can't be mad at that. And this smells so good, and I've been waiting so long. I'm ready to taste it. Cheers, everybody. Wow, that's really smooth. It's a 43% APV. So, of course, you're looking at 86 proof. Yeah, it's nice and mouthful. I mean, my whole mouth is watering right now. <laughs> Probably just how much I was looking forward to having this one. But, uh, yeah, real. I mean, mouth is watering. 
and definitely warmed up all the way down. You know, went down super smooth and then gave you that warm pickle all the way back up. Just a nice, smooth, easy sipper right here. I do kind of, again, get like what I think people are talking about with that sulfur smell. And there's a little bit of that on the taste as well. Just a little bit of that on the tongue. But yeah, just some spices and dried fruits and I guess that's why they call it a sherry bomb. Nice, smooth, easy. I think you can, you know, get a little bit of those barrel tannins and flavor. Um, super just mouth-watering, rich. Nothing wrong with that. You know, already know we got to put through the test. Don't usually put water in my whiskey except for when I'm doing these tests. But, got to be thorough. Never know when that one time it's actually going to blow up and be like, oh my gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> nice and clear. Like I said, non-chilled filter. They don't add any color. That's all straight from the barrel. And that is a beautiful color that they have coming out of there. I mean, that is just liquid gold right there. Nothing wrong with that. Like I said, McAllen does not skimp on a lot. And uh, that's why they charge a little bit more, I'm guessing, for the drams that they have. Now, is it worth the crazy, exorbitant prices that they have? Probably not. But for the most part, like this is the basic. It's the 12 Like I said, 52 bucks. I mean, is it probably one of the better 12s out there? Maybe. Maybe not. I am still pretty new to the 12s. I have the Yamazaki 12, which I absolutely love. And the McKellen 12. What's another 12 whiskey I have? Oh, I have the, uh, well, I have the new Quinta Rubin. That's actually 14, though, now. So, yeah, I think this is uh, actually my only, this is only the second 12 I have. I've tasted the Lasanta, the Quinta Rubin, uh, Nectar Door. Those are all 12 year olds. Those are all really good as well. Um, the Glen Morangi, uh, Glen Morangi, Glen Morangi, they have the tallest stills. Uh, McAllen has surprisingly like really squat short stills. And uh, so, you know, all the fine, all the fine light spirits head up to the top of Glen Morangi. This one's going to grab like all the best thick, you know, meaty parts of the spirits when they come through. Definitely give you just punch it, you know, packed full of flavor. Or so I've told and read. <laughs> Once again, for everybody new here, I am a 100% rookie. Just started this uh, whole uh, spirit journey on Christmas when I got the Game of Thrones collection. I am that kid that, uh, <laughs> kid, but I am that guy that uh, Diageo is going after and it worked hook, line, and sinker. I love it and I've uh, just been walking through the world of whiskey ever since and having an absolute blast. So this should be in there good enough by now. Let's take a little sip with water and uh, see how she tastes. Come by. I think the water brought out a little bit more of those uh, barrel notes. Got a little bit more bitter, a little more tang, bringing up more of the barrel flavor. And that's not a bad thing. It's really flavorful. Like I said, McAllen goes out of their way to make sure they always have the very finest casks. So they make them themselves and they make sure they make them the right way. And they are good. Yeah, the smell too with the water, I think it brought up a little bit, a little bit more of the bitterness, um, the barrel tannins. Not quite so sweet, a little more bitter. Didn't really, uh, the spicy, you know, those spices are still there, that spice smell. I don't even know, what is that, nutmeg? <laughs> yeah, definitely spicy. Well, not too shabby so far, I'm not mad at it. Uh, from what I've heard on a lot of whiskey reviews, the Macallan 12 is what brought a lot of people into whiskey, so definitely a good one. Not too bad on water. I think I still like it neat, though. That's just me. But now we need to try it on a little bit of ice. I do like that bottle, nice and sleek, 12 year, got the sherry oak cask. I wonder how many flavors McAllen's had over the years. God, it's gotta be, they had to have at least, what, 200 over the years? Because I think they do different series. I was just down in Vegas, and let me tell you, the total wine in Las Vegas is legit. That place is so tight, all the stuff that I can never find here, they had it all, all the way down to my El Dorado 21-year-old rum. Probably just some of the best rum on the planet. I can't find it anywhere around here. 
Yeah, they're, no. Well, yeah, right down this aisle. Here he goes there. I was like, nice. Our Total Wine, they have the Duncan Taylor, the independent bottlings that they do. And, you know, $300, $400 bottles of whiskey. They got a, almost a $500 bottle of Japanese whiskey in there. You know, that's a lot of money for a fifth. It's crazy money for a fifth. You go down to Vegas, they have like 30, 40, and 50 year old McCallans in there for like 30, 40, and 50,000 dollars. Like, I don't know. I think the most expensive one I thought saw was like forty four thousand and some change. I was just like forty four thousand dollars for a bottle of juice. Come on, balling out of control. I mean, you got that kind of money, <laughs> Solange. But yeah, that's crazy. I'd buy a boat, <laughs> a bottle of whiskey, or a boat. Hmm. But yeah, that was it. Was pretty cool walking through there and seeing all the stuff. And yeah, I had to buy. I came home with a couple of bottles from there that I just can't find here. And I wish I would have bought. They had the number three from this last collection that you can't find anywhere. And they had it, you know, for regular retail price. I cannot believe I didn't buy it. Too worried about my suitcase getting bottled down, and I bought a bunch of other stuff. And what are you stupid? I've just been kicking myself ever since. But, you know, there'll be another one. <laughs> That's what my girl keeps telling me. It's like, there'll be another one around the way. And she's right. There'll be another one somewhere. So, can't be too mad at it. But let's taste this Macallan 12 on ice. Prost. That's just ice water. <laughs> it's like a, whew. What is that smell? The ice really amps up. I think that's that sulfur smell I was talking about. The ice really amps that up. That's almost not pleasant. I usually love ice and whiskey. That's almost a non-pleasant smell with the ice in it. That's weird. But drinking it is just ice water. Which is weird because it's not 40. I mean, it is 43%, so there is that little extra. But, yeah, I don't know. The ice just... The water didn't kill it. The water was okay. But the ice just knocked this one out of the park. So, again, this is definitely one you want to drink neat. And there are ones that I do really like with ice, but it seems like for the most part, it's, I'm starting to get there. I really do like, I like most of them neat, which is crazy because <laughs> that was not me when I first came in. So, palette's already changing a little bit. But yeah, McAllen 12, um, this is exactly kind of what I thought it'd be. It's uh, just a nice, smooth, everyday sipper. Um, 43%. It's just, I mean, it gives you just enough, you know, to get you where you want to be. And, you know, it's not going to blow you out of the water, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Just pour it in need and uh, start with anything. Start with something good. Then again, it's like $70. Are you just going to throw this on the table and let everybody... Yeah. <laughs> I would. Let me let everybody drink out of this one. But, yeah, I don't know. It's good everyday sipper. It's smooth. Um, not too harsh. Kind of on the same level as... I mean, probably tastes a little bit better than Johnny Walker Black Label, but... Kind of on the same nice, easy, smooth sipper, just kind of right there. And that's a 12 year as well. So, scale of 1 to 10, uh, maybe I better have another sip just to be sure. But I think we're just kind of leaning on about an 8. Might be 8.5. Let's, let's be sure. Slunt. It's very okay. <laughs> There's just nothing wrong with it, nothing great about it. It is all kinds of okay. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, and uh, yeah, like I said, just a nice, smooth, everyday sipper. A couple other bottles I've actually had for months just sitting in there waiting for review, and yeah, they're just going to keep coming because I'm having too much fun not to keep doing it. So, hope everybody out there has an absolutely fantastic rest of the week, and until we see you next time, come by.